Today, we will continue the past year of term 1 in 2023, question 20, which is about the kinetic theory of gas. So the first question is to state the law of equipartition of energy. So this is about the energy of a gas molecule in thermal equilibrium. So it has the energy equally divided among available degree of freedom, and the energy for each degree of freedom is half kT. So this definition is important to answer question 2. So question two is to derive an expression for the internal energy of n more of ideal gas with degrees of freedom f and temperature t. So the definition gives us the energy of one gas molecule, which is f over 2 kT. So to answer this question, you need to take note that it is about the n more of gas molecule, which has the number of molecule equal to n multiplied Avogadro number. So the total energy will be equal to n times Na times f over 2 kT. So arrange the formulas, and you can also substitute the formula of NaK is equal to R. So we have energy is equal to F over 2 nRT. So we move on to the next question. A container with insulating wall is divided into two compartments by a, partition, by a partition as shown in the diagram. The partition is breakable. The container is filled with oxygen. Pressure, volume, temperature in the rack compartment are PVT, while in the lab are 2P. 3V and T. Determine the ratio of the number of molecules in the left compartment to that in the right compartment. So here we shall assume it is it behaves as an ideal gas. So we have the formula of PV equal to nRT. So the number of molecules will be equal to PV over RT. So use this formula to obtain the ratio where we have P1V1 over RT1 to P2V2 over RT2. So just put in all the expression here and you should get the ratio is equal to 6 to 1. So the next question is the pressure of gas in the container after the partition breaks. So here you also need to obtain the expression of the pressure. So before that we have, uh, we will refer to the right compartment that we have P is equal to nRT over V. And then when the partition breaks, so we also refer to PB equal to nRT, but we need to review back on the change in each of the variables. So the pressure is what we want to find out and the volume would be the, the total volume that we have. So if you look at the diagram that we have 3V and V, so the total volume is just by, by doing the addition 3V plus V. And as for the number of molecule, we can apply six to one ratio that we have six N on the left and N on the right. And then we have the gas constant and the temperature should be also constant since both the compartment have the same temperature and the container is also have insulating wall. So by having all of these informations that we can arrange all the equations, then we have P is equal to 7NRT over 4V. So we have the final pressure is 7 over 4 of the P. So we move on to the question 3. Calculate the internal energy of gas in the container if the initial values of P, V, and T are given as follow. So we will need to use the formulas that we have derived in B, that the energy is equal to F over 2 nRT. So we are not given with the number of moles, so we can cover the nRT is equal to PV since we have the P and V. But please take note that the P and V given here are the initial values of P and V in the right compartment. So as discussed in the last question that we have, the final pressure is 7 over 4 of the initial P and the volume is 4V. So we just apply that we have the pressure is 7 over 4 multiplied the values given and as for the volumes, we times 4. And as for the degree of freedoms, so the question mentioned that the container is filled with oxygen gas, which is a diatomic molecule and we have the degree of freedom is equal to 5. So put in all those values and you should get the answer as at one at seven times 10 to the power of two joule. So last question, if the gas behave as a real gas, discuss whether the internal energy is greater or smaller than the calculated value in B3. So this one you need to refer back to the ideal gas law. So four marks, which is much smaller compared to question 18 and 19. So the ideal gas law said that there is no intermolecular force between the gas molecule, which we all, we have the zero potential energy. So the internal energy here that we have calculated only consists of kinetic energy. 
For the case of real gas, it is the opposite way that we have intermolecular force which gives us potential energy. So the total internal energy will consist of the kinetic energy and also the potential energy, thus it has greater value than the calculated value in B3. So that's all for this question. Thank you.